Good morning, friends and family, and family of friends. Welcome to the Friday edition of Morning Minutes, where we try to bring you fun and interesting local news and stories from around the world. Our goal is always no doom and no gloom, because, well, you get enough of that from the regular media. Hey, we made it through another week and quite a long cold spell. Our warm-up happened much sooner than we expected, and I'm just going to add that to the list of things to be thankful for. Speaking of things to be thankful for, we are thankful for each and every one of you who have been on this journey with us. This is our 255th episode of Morning Minutes, believe it or not. Well, and we still have a lot of ideas to share and places to explore together. So once again, thank you in advance for your continued support as we push forward through this adventure we call life. This morning, sunrise was at 646 and sunset will be at 523, putting us up to 10 hours and 45 minutes of glorious daylight to make the most of. Presently, well, it's a chilly seven degrees outside. Today, you should expect partly sunny skies with temps in the low 20s and winds will be out of the west at five to 10 miles per hour. Mid to upper 20s over the weekend, with Sunday being a little bit warmer, but we might see up to an inch of snow. Well, you know, it's not 10 below or 10 inches of snow, so it's not too bad. We'll take it. Our celebrity birthday shout-out starts with a talented actress who played Summer Wheatley, Summer Wheatley in the 2004 comedy feature Napoleon Dynamite. She also appeared in the TV, appeared in the TV movies Love Takes Wing and Love Finds a Home. With her younger sister, Hillary, she released the 2004 single, Our Lips Are Sealed, and the sisters are also co-starred in the 2016 comedy, Material Girls. Haley Duff turns 36 today. Our next celebrity was first known for her leading role on the series, Intruders. She would later land a starring role as Eleven on the awesome hit Netflix series, Stranger Things. She also plays the lead character in the 2019 blockbuster film, Godzilla, King of Monsters, and the title character in the 2020 film, Enola Holmes. Miley Bobby Brown turned 17 today. Our next celebrity is a beautiful young actress who is known for her many TV acting credits, including Zoe 101, Victorious, and iCarly. She also starred in the Nickelodeon film, The Boy Who Cried Werewolf, and performed several songs on the soundtrack for the Nickelodeon musical, Spectacular. In 2015, she began starring on the MTV thriller series, Eye Candy. Victoria Justice turns 28 today. And her final celebrity shout out is for an icon in the world of music. He was the lead singer with the popular group, The Miracles, who helped define the Motown sound. He also played with the then popular group, The Five Chimes, until 1972 that is, before pursuing a solo career. He released such popular songs as A Quiet Storm, Tears of a Clown, You've Really Got Me On, You've Really Got a Hold of Me, and I Second That Emotion. Smokey Robinson turns 81 today. All right, moving on to this week's top rearview mirror news story. Our first story takes place on February 12th when UPI reports about a Tennessee dog who is living the comfortable life after inheriting $5 million from his late or her late owner, who stipulated in his will that his money should go to his pet. In the world of real estate, they call that a life estate. But anyways, Lulu, an eight-year-old border collie, was named in the will of owner Bill Doris, a Nashville businessman who died late last year at the age of 84. Martha Burton, his neighbor who often cared for Lulu, while Doris was away, named as the canine's caretaker in the Doris will, which states Burton will be reimbursed for reasonable monthly expenses. <laughs> I don't really know what to think about it to tell you the truth, she said. She just really, he just loved that dog, Burton told WTVF-TV. Burton said she is perfectly happy to act as Lulu's caretaker because she is a good girl. <laughs> And our last story takes place on February 17th when UPI reports utility workers investigating a gas leak at a Tennessee home had to call wildlife officials for assistance when they discovered a family of bears sleeping under the house. The Appalachian Bear Rescue said a utility crew responded to a home in Sevier County and called the Ten Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency when they ventured under the house and were faced with the backside of a very large snoozing bear. 
The bear rescue group kind of pointed out the obvious when they said, the crawl space beneath the home is not a great place for a bear den, especially if there's a gas leak. There was no way to know if the gas had injured the bear. There was no way to safely repair the gas line while the bear was in the residence. And there was no way to keep the home warm and habitable without repairing the gas line. Wildlife officials arrived at the scene and were successful at encouraging the bear to leave the premises. But, well, they hadn't discovered that the bear was a mother and had left behind three young cubs. While the adorable cubs were examined by the University of Tennessee College of Veterinary Medicine and found to be in good health. They were then transferred to the Appalachian Bear Rescue and reunited with other bears. <laughs> All right, on to our comedy corner. Why do bouncers throw violent trunks out the back door? Because they belong behind bars. Okay, time for one more. Our son Luke loves that we chose Star Wars characters as an inspiration when naming our kids. His sister Chewbacca is less thrilled. <laughs> Today is National Chocolate Mint Day, National Lash Day, National Vet Girls Rise Day, National Caregivers Day, and Tartar Sauce Day. Today's morning motivational is a simple, undeniable truth. Hate has four letters, but so does love. Enemies has seven letters, but so does friends. Lying has five letters, but so does truth. Hurt has four lever letters, but so does heal. Transform every negative energy into an aura of positivity. It's our perception that makes the difference in the way we feel. <laughs> That's a great one, and it's spot on accurate. We say it all the time. Try to have an optimistic outlook on life and the world around you every day. Your perception defines so much about the world around you and how you react to the challenges in life is always up to you. Transforming negative situations into positive opportunities is a key component to a meaningful, happy life. And it's, well, it's where phrases like finding the silver lining in any situation comes from. Making lemonade when life hands you lemons. And my personal favorite, the hardest steel goes through the hottest flames. You and only you have the power to make awesome your reality. Well, Belinda and I do appreciate the time that you spend with us each and every day. Our goal is always to offer a mix of entertainment and education in each and every one of these Morning Minute posts. After all, knowledge is power, and you guys know it. We love to share what we come across, and we certainly hope you are enjoying the experience. Please continue to like, follow, and share us with your friends and family. That one's super important, and we do appreciate it. And please remember, Blind and I are creative, high-energy real estate agents. We do have a fleet of drones to capture those awesome aerial shots of your home and property. We have invested thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours into our VR and 3D marketing equipment, making us your virtual marketing specialists in this virus conscientious world of ours. So if you are thinking of buying or selling, please reach out to us for free consultation. There is never an obligation and we will go the extra mile to reach your real estate goal. So once again, thank you for your time. Make it a great day and have an awesome weekend because you guys have the power to make it happen. We'll talk to you soon. We're out here.